This is the Detroit Sports Podcast Network. Do you play FanDuel and feel like you aren't creating consistent money-making lineups? Go over to the DFS Doctors on Twitter at the DFS Doctors and DM them with promo code Detroit Sports to get a free trial for their analytically formulated 70% lifetime profit rate NFL and NBA lineups. The whole purpose of playing daily fantasy sports is to get out there and compete and give yourself a chance to win. So go over to the DFS doctors. Let them help you. They have analysts on staff that look at the best optimal lineup that you can put out there to win money. So why not take advantage? At the DFS doctors, promo code Detroit Sports. What's up, Detroit sports fans? Welcome to the Fan Report, a show made by fans for fans, powered by the Detroit Sports Podcast Network. I'm Nick, and coming at you from the comforts and security of his own home is our boy Andrew's going to give us this week's topics. Well, we're going to have some fun this week because we're going to go over from movies to video games to sports. We're going to start off with picking our three favorite sports video games from a list provided by The Ringer. We're also going to take a look at a March Madness style tournament bracket of sports movies provided by Imagine Theaters. And then, well, you know what? To start it off, actually, we're going to talk a little bit of horse. This is the fan report. Oh, boy. Um, I did <laughs> want to start off by apologizing to you guys ahead of time. Um, if there's any kind of odd sound quality or anything like that, um, it's mainly because we have a little bit of technical difficulty with one of our microphones. Um, it's in the works being fixed, so we're using an alternative right now. So may not be as 100% as, as it usually is, but... Hopefully it's still uh, good enough, I guess I'll, I'll yeah. say. Um, this, but, is, this is what we have to work with, with for the next few weeks, basically. <laughs> yes, uh, it is not easy to get replacement parts right now, to say the, to, yep. to say the least. Um, but we're still coming at you guys. We're still bringing you all the content that we can, um, and hopefully some entertainment to help you escape during this, uh, to help you escape the quarantine as things continue to roll like a giant snowball downhill. Yeah. Now, Andrew, you mentioned horse. Explain, please, because why are we talking about horse? <laughs> so, well, basically, with uh, everyone being so deprived of sports content, the NBA and ESPN are working on televising a horse competition involving several high player, high profile players. It's from Woj, uh, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Players would shoot in isolation, presumably in home gyms, and try to match shots against their competitors. So it's basically playing horse, like basically like if you're playing over Skype. Um, is this something you'd watch, Nicholas? No, this is a terrible idea. Um, <laughs> how desperate are you that this is a thing? Uh, I, I I don't understand. Who want the, Who the hell wants to watch a game of horse? I don't care who it is, what they're doing. That sounds boring as hell. I'd rather sit there and twiddle my thumbs. Uh, sorry like sorry about that at the same like w- will i be watching it no but on their end if the players want to do it it can't hurt i mean it's something <laughs> like it's something if people who are so inclined want to watch it i won't be tuning in i, I could care less i'm sorry but horse. if you're watching horse on <laughs> espn you need to find a you need to find something better to do with your time. I don't I don't care what it is. Go clean your house. Go go wash your <laughs> dog. Go wash yourself, maybe. Because if you're watching horse at two o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday or a Tuesday, you probably haven't washed yourself that day. So why don't you go and put do on a that? Good movie. Yeah, put on a good movie. There are far better things to do with your time than watch a bunch of grown men play horse. And first off, uh, I can't wait. If this actually happens, I can't wait for the moment that someone has like a bad internet connection and it's ESPN, and then you just have like just total like someone goes up for a shot and it just the whole thing crashes. Be funny as hell. <laughs> It'd be look it would look like the most ragtag operation I've ever seen, and I would find it fucking hilarious. But honestly, how long do you think these games would last? Because Players aren't missing shots. Why don't shots that often? Especially if you have good shooters playing. Well, they'd probably so be doing games last they, forever. They'd probably be doing <laughs> stupid shit like backwards half court shots or shots well, off the wall and stupid shit like you, that. You actually, you just reminded me because you bring that up because they actually I don't know if you remember they actually did do this um, a couple All Star weekends. They did I think like oh eight and oh nine or oh nine oh ten something towards the end of the uh, of the aughts, and um, they of that the they did. 
of the aughts, the 2000s. Oh, you never heard okay. of the aughts? No, I have not, <laughs> but all right. Uh, but, um, but they did, they would do normal jump shots, but then they would also go crazy. I, I didn't use, I remember the one I watched, I remember watching Rondo and KD. And they were just going at it at three pointers, and I'm like, "There's no way Rondo's going to keep up," and he did. It was really weird. But... <laughs> that sounds boring as hell. No wonder they got rid of it. Yeah, they um, did it for a couple of years for also a weekend. So it's not playing horse is not a new concept for the NBA, but this would be playing horse in isolation would be something we haven't seen, and something I hope we never see. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, well, moving... quick question for you: Is yeah. there is there a so is there something that you think NBA players could because there is that um I don't know if you saw, but they're doing like two K tournaments NBA players, so like NBA sure. players go against each other. I I haven't watching it. I don't even know if it, if the NBA players are controlling a team or it's like one on one using their own players. No, I, don't know. But I, I actually have read a little bit about this. There it's basically a tournament style bracket where um they basically pulled their experience in two K and all this stuff and seeded them that way. And they are allowed to pick any team they want and go up against their competitor. So it's it's team versus team. Mm-hmm. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks, as of yesterday, had been undefeated. Um, I think four different players used Milwaukee Bucks, including a 16 seed beat a number one seed using the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, so there is so and and that right there is that's fine. That's cool. You know, it's it's entertainment. It's something that if, you know, streamed on Twitch or Mixer, wherever the hell the streaming platform is, whatever you want to do, you know, that's a cool idea. But there's no need for that to be broadcast on ESPN. And there's really no need for anything like this to be broadcast on ESPN. And frankly, no, there's really nothing I could ask the sports world to do right now that would fill the gap, I guess. It, it's it's continue to play your old, your old historical games, your previous ones, the most exciting ones. You know, continue to play that stuff. Have your talk shows, whatever, and and ride it out. That's that's what we all got to do. We got to just ride this thing out and stay in the comfort of our own homes. You don't need to ask these players to go and do extra things. They already have a, a, a crazy enough of a season going on. Let these guys work out and take care of themselves and their families on their own. You don't need to be asking them to do extra things. If they want to do, you know, things for charity like this 2k event. Awesome. Great. Good for them. You know, it allows them to keep saying and have some fun and allows for the fans to have some fun with it. But asking them to mm-hmm. do like a, Having them do like a horse style tournament from their own home, which some of these guys don't even have hoops, mind you. So you don't know, like Giannis and Tedekupos and Chris Middleton are perfect examples. They don't have hoops, uh, hoops at their home. They even said they don't. Um, <clears throat> so like you won't have anybody, everybody to begin with. But beyond that, it, there's just no reason for this. It, yeah. it, the two K thing is cool and fun and allows them to stay in their own home and not have to go outside or anything like that or have other people come around. They just play their games as they were already going mm-hmm. to be doing. So uh, that that's fine, but anything beyond that, no thank you. And frankly, that doesn't need to be shown on ESPN. Show that on a streaming platform like Twitch or whatever. You know what the best part is? You'll probably be able to bet on this too. <laughs> Which would be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> we got the over-under on an R and an E for the, it's a spread. R and E for, uh, or with S and E, sorry. Can you imagine like LeBron going against it's like LeBron versus KD. They put an S and E spread. Everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, I can't!" <laughs> that is such a big spread. But um, though that'd be, I can't. I couldn't imagine betting on horse. But this is how this is how slow sports use has gotten. Is um, is we're talking about horse. <laughs> I mean, it's it's we're in isolation. We're we're quarantined yeah. with COVID. You know, um, mm-hmm. it's I hope everyone's staying healthy and obeying the quarantine here in the state of Michigan, mm-hmm. as well as all the other states around the country, and uh, frankly, all the countries around the world. It it's no time. To, it, it's this is no joke. It's not a you know. It's not something mm-hmm. that you can just ignore. We have to obe- we have to obey what we're being told right now by the medical professionals and. Just stay safe, and and that goes for mm-hmm. guys. That goes for guys like uh, the professional athletes and our celebrities out there. So hopefully they're doing the same. Yeah. All right. So uh, moving on to our next topic here. So the Ringer put out a kind of a grid, and it's a grid of like sixteen sports video games, and they basically told their followers on Twitter to pick their three favorites, their top three out of, and they're basically franchise. Some of them are franchise, some of them are specific games. Um, 
I'll list off what they have here. So they have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I'm assuming that's the whole franchise. NFL Blitz, NBA 2K. So Golden. I was just uh, yeah, just to uh, interrupt you for a second. I was very confused mm-hmm. on whether or not these are the full franchises or if these are the originals. So I like, believe so because like they have like NBA 2K on here. That, like, which there um, is technically an original NBA 2K, isn't there? Or Mad NFL or NCAA football. Which again, here. they're they're. I'm pretty sure there's originals of those because some of them yeah, like Mario Tennis 64. Like that's one that's one game. Yeah. WWF No Mercy is one game. Yeah. Mike Tyson's Punch Out is one game. Mm-hmm. Um, MLB the show, I don't think I, I, I'm going to assume that the ones that are in series so like T- Tiger Woods, PJ Tour, MLB the show, NCAA mm-hmm. football, Madden NFL, I'm, I'm going to assume and let's play it this way. We're doing the series of those. So NFL Blitz, we're mm-hmm. taking all the games. I would say if, I would say we can say take your favorite one from that series and that's one that would count for you. I OK, think, like, fair, fair. <laughs> we can do that. Um, yeah. But go ahead and continue with the list. We had Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. We had NFL Blitz, NBA 2K, mm-hmm. and then go ahead and continue. Mm-hmm. Golden T. Then we had Mario Tennis 64, FIFA, WWF No Mercy, Men NFL, NCAA Football, MLB The Show, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, NBA Jam, NBA Street, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, SXX Tricky, and Mario Kart 64. Okay, so we got to pick... You, honest question. Do you consider Mario Kart to see four a sports game? No, I, I, I mean, I don't, but... As much I as mean, I love that game, but... I mean, I, I... No. Do you consider WWF No Mercy a sports game? I mean, that's an, that's an entertainment kind of thing. It's acting. Yeah. Um, it treated like a sport, but like... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, so here's how I want to take this, because we can only keep three, right, Andrew? Oh, sorry. You cut off for seconds. I didn't know. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I said, here's how I want to do this. Uh, yeah. We can only keep three, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So let's That's... group these by sport. Okay. So let's group these by sport. We've got in, in the basketball bracket, we've got NBA Jam. We've got mm-hmm. NBA Street. We've NBA got Street M- and NBA 2K. NBA 2K. That's... I'm surprised NBA Live is not in this, by the way. Sliding them a little bit, huh? I know. Uh, in skateboarding, uh, well, you know, we'll hold off on that. In um uh football we've got men nfl i mean there's only what there's only two, two yeah there's basically only two sports that you can actually get a little get a little bracket to I mean. right and there's a and i and yeah. i have a reason for this so and then there's okay. tiger woods pga tour along with golden mm-hmm. tee for golf mm-hmm. um we've got wwf no mercy on its own fifa on its mm-hmm. own ssx so the extreme sports will put together so ssx tricky mario and kart pro, and skate. tony hawk pro skater um, let's group WWF No Mercy in that category. Mm-hmm. Um, what am I missing here? I've got. Um, let's throw Mario Tennis in there, even though it's not an extreme sport. It's grouped in with Mario. Um, I got that. Got that. Got that. Uh, I've got. I won't be the show on its own. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. We'll throw in that one. Okay, so, so here's how I want to do this. I want to basically take one game from each sport. And then we're gonna narrow it mm-hmm. down from there. That's gonna be our first. Oh, so are we saying we're good? Oh, so we want to agree on these as well. Yeah, let's try and agree on these. If you uh, if you can't, you can't. Uh, I understand because obviously <laughs> my probably gonna be a little bit different than yours. Also, yeah. I'm kind of shocked that none of the NHL games are on here. Chell is mm-hmm. legendary. Uh, and NHL '94 is one of the, the top greatest games. Comment ever. on the Ringer's tweet was update. Earlier today, we accepted NHL 94 specifically as a write in submission. Please add it to your list of options. Okay, so NHL 94 going in. Um, I would just say NHL altogether because, frankly, my favorite NHL game is 2001. Um, that's the, my favorite NHL game that I ever played. Um, I have a lot mm-hmm. of nostalgia with that, so we'll throw NHL in there. Um, yeah. But, anyways. So we got to keep three, which means we've got to get rid of in, in, throwing NHL in there. We've got to get rid of one. So I get rid of 14. Oh, so wait, I, why, why do we got to get rid of? You're saying you got, you're keeping NHL as one of your. No, we got to get there's 17 and with NHL, isn't there? Yes. So then we got to get rid of 14. We keep three, right? Or is it four? Yeah, yeah, we keep three. We keep so we got to get rid of 14. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so. Let's start by getting rid of, or let's start by just grabbing one game from each sport, okay? Well, I'll tell you right now, for the NBA, as much as I love NBA Jam and NBA Street, I got to take 2K. Um, I'll agree with you on NBA 2K. Uh, we'll mm-hmm. keep that one. We'll get rid of it, Jam and Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for the football, I want to go NCAA. 
Um, I've always thought the NCAA football games are better and honestly a little bit more fun. And I felt like they were a lot more like I felt better. Like it was just more fun for me to play them. Um, I thought mm-hmm. they were better football games uh, overall. Uh, the only thing that Madden really had going for it was the names, the actual player names involved, mm-hmm. and that was about it. And frankly, I think mm-hmm. NFL 2K was a better product. And Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team, sure, fine, but eh. You know, I, I, Madden Ultimate Team is not even the best Ultimate Team out there. FIFA Ultimate Team is far better than Madden Ultimate Team. <clears throat> so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take NCAA out of these two. Uh, just the fact that the reason I say this is because the last NCAA football game that was ever produced, it was NCAA 14, and people are still playing that today, seven years, six years later. It's technically seven years. So I believe it was released in 2013. <clears throat> are still playing it, having the rosters updated by people who go and dedicate their time to updating the rosters year in and year out. That right there tells me how dedicated these people are to this game. And I would never see that with Madden, frankly. And I personally also think Madden, the developers have just straight up gotten lazy in the last like 10 years. The game hasn't been that great since like 2009. I agree. The Madden releases have been basically glorified roster updates. I agree with that. Um, I, I cannot disagree on NCAA football. I can't disagree on that. Okay, so then we've got NCAA, two NBA, you know, I've 2K. I've played Madden NFL more than I've played in NCAA football. I can't disagree. Madden NFL has way too many flaws. Oh, 100%. Um, next, for baseball, we've only got MLB The Show. For golf, we've got Golden Tee and Tiger Woods PGA Tour. I'm going to take Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods PGA Tour. Yeah. Uh, FIFA for soccer. Now, down here in more of the extreme style sports, I'm going to take Mario Kart out of this one. Like, I move it to a different section. I'm going to take Mar- the Mario games and Mike Tyson's punch out out of this section and move it to its own because they're okay. like the Nintendo games, so to speak. I take Pro Skater over. Uh, WWF SSX. No Mercy's gone. SSX Tricky's gone. Tony Hawk mm-hmm. Pro Skater, I'll agree with you. I'll keep that one as well. Mm-hmm. Um, now, mm-hmm. NHL's on its own. Um, and then we've got Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, and Mike Tyson punch out. Out of those three, I keep Mario Kart. I say you pick between Mario Tennis 64 and Mario Kart 64. <laughs> That's fine. I pick Mario Kart. Uh, easy. <laughs> I mean, I love Mario Tennis, and I'm kind of upset that Mario Golf isn't even included in this list, but so be yeah. it. But I've actually sure. never played Mario Tennis. Oh, great game. Love it. Yeah. Fantastic game. So let me uh, give us a quick update on what we got. Okay, so that leaves us with Mario Kart, Tony Hawk, NCAA Football, mm-hmm. MLB The Show, Tiger Woods, uh, um, PGA Tour, FIFA, NHL, and NBA 2K. So mm-hmm. out of this li- out of that list, there's uh, eight games. What do we want to get rid of here? We got to get rid of five. I'm going to nominate one game to get rid of right away. It's going to be Tiger Woods PGA Tour, played at the least. It's also the most repetitive. Wait, which one? Tiger Woods PGA Tour. Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bueller. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting rid of Tiger Woods? Yes, I'm getting rid of Tiger Woods. Oh, man. I got to keep three. That's the game out of all of these I probably played the least. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have my top three right now, to be honest with you, from those. <laughs> From what we've picked, I have my top three. But, yeah, we can get rid of Tiger Woods. All right. Um, for the sake of uh, trying to, you know. <laughs> for to make a content. dramatic effect. Yes. <laughs> we're going to get rid of these one at a time. We've got to get rid of four more. Um, next one I'm going to get rid of, even though I love this damn game and I've mm-hmm. played the shit out of it, I'm going to get rid of FIFA. Do you disagree? All right. That's fine with me. All right. You make a cut now. All right. So what do we have left? We have Mario Kart, Tony Hawk, NCAA Football, MLB The Show, NHL, and NBA 2K. All right. Um, I'm going to get, get rid of, again, as much as I played a lot as a kid, but I'm going to get rid of uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I'm going to agree with you here. I'm not going to fight you on it. I do love that game, mm-hmm. but it when it comes down to what, it wouldn't have been my first nomination to get rid of, but it is going to be on my yeah. list to get rid of. So we yeah. got to get rid of two. Mm-hmm. I've got one in my mind here that I would like to get rid of, and it may shock you. I'm getting rid Megan of MLB The Show. Interesting. I'm very surprised by that. I just think that the game has become nothing more than a roster update, and it's honestly the mm-hmm. game that even though I've played a lot of, it's also one of the ones that I find myself never revisiting as often. So MLB The Show's mm-hmm. gone. 
Now, we've got one okay. more to get rid of. We've got Mario Kart, NCAA football, NHL, and NBA 2K. And I think this is where you and I are going to disagree because I think you're uh, going to get rid of NHL. Yeah, if, if we're counting Mario Kart, i got to get rid of NHL. If we're not counting Mario Kart, obviously Mario Kart's gone. What are yeah. your top three, just out of curiosity? Without this? No, without this entirely. Yeah, uh, without it, it's NBA 2K, NCAA football, and NFL Blitz. Really? Interesting. Yep. Okay. Um, NFL Blitz is a fun one. I'm not going to disagree. Oh, I even forgot mm-hmm. to put NFL Blitz in the football one. Well, it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna get past uh, NCAA football no matter what. So okay, all right, fair <laughs> enough. Um, NCAA football in NFL Blitz is a good one. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. NFL Blitz is a great one. Um, between NBA 2K, NHL, NCAA football, and Mario Kart, if Mario Kart counts, oh, I think I'm gonna get rid of yeah, NCAA Kart, football. Mario Kart counts as my top three is 2K, NCAA, Mario Kart. That's my top three. Mario Kart counts. With this, with the way we're doing it. I think I'm going to get rid of NCAA football if Mario Kart's counting the way we're doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, my top three uh, would be Mario okay. Kart, NHL, and NBA 2K. Um, Interesting. I may even... Yeah, I'll stick with that. Um, oops. I'll stick with that. Mario Kart, NHL, and NBA 2K are my top three mm-hmm. with NCAA football as my number four. And NFL Blitz, yeah. I think, is my number five. Yeah. But uh, we'll retweet this on our uh, on our Twitter, and you guys can tell us who your top ones are. Absolutely. That's yep. a good idea. All mm-hmm. right, moving on now to the bracket. Uh, sports oh. movie bracket presented by Imagine Theaters. I will be the master of ceremony here. <laughs> uh, be my guest, my friend. So basically, we should have been talking about uh, March Madness right now, but since we're not... This is the best we can do. Uh, if you guys ever watched our live show, we kind of did a version of this. Um, I want to say it was last year. Was it, Nick? Was we, it last year we did this or two years ago? I think it was two years ago. We made a movie bracket, um, but it was not just sports movies. Every region was its own genre. Right. And uh, we based it on the congl- like the rankings. We based on like a um, combination of Rotten Tomatoes ratings, IMDb ratings. Uh, Metacritic score and letterbox ratings. Um, so it was, we try to be as accurate as possible with the rankings. But. And that was just to get our nominate, our, our nominations also. Once the mm-hmm. not, once the seeding was, was picked, did we do eight or 16 seeds? We did. Oh, that's a good question. I can't remember. I, you I, know what? I actually, I want to say 16 because we did it. We did as close to March Madness style as possible. I believe we did 16 seeds per region. I think I had so a sixty-four a sixty-four movie bracket, but this bracket right here that Imagine Theaters put out I do is have it here. You do? Yep. All, All right. right. It was because yeah, this is also a uh, this is actually a thirty-two team bracket. It so was I believe sixteen it's, seeds. It was. Yep. So there was sixty-four teams in this. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is or about this is half of that. So we have thirty-two sports movies. And the way we um, did it was, and the way we did it was, we did a drama bracket, we did an action yeah, we adventure did. bracket, we did yep. a comedy, and then a science fiction and horror bracket, and then we mm-hmm. had them all meet in the final four. For and horror was included in sci-fi, right? That's yes, how we did science it. Yes, science fiction yeah. and horror, correct. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but um, so these regions that the Imagine Sports movies bracket put out is they're not based on any specific thing. I think they're just randomly selected regions. So we'll start from the top. First matchup, Miracle versus Goon, two hockey films. I, you know, I was going through this and it looked like that they mm-hmm. put all like the like sports together, which I kind of, uh, which I kind of like that they did that. Um, mm-hmm. It does make for some interesting first round matchups. I will say that. And this is one of them. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. As much as I love this movie and as entertaining as this movie is, the there's one of these that is a just an all around better movie than the other. Um, and that's Miracle on Ice. Miracle on Ice between these two is the better movie, even though I do find, you know, have a personal love for the movie Goon. I'm going to take Miracle on this one. Yeah. What's your thoughts? I know. I, I agree. It's got to be Miracle. Uh, I mean, it's right down to the iconic speech in the locker room. It's got to be Miracle. As fun as Goon is, it's surprisingly good of a movie. I remember when that movie came out. I was like, there's no way it's going to be good. Oh, it's <laughs> it fantastic. Was, but, I love that. But it was movie. still a great movie. But Miracle, <laughs> yeah. It's got to be Miracle here. Uh, next up, oh, we're staying on the ice. I, Tanya versus The Cutting Edge. I'll tell you right now, I have never heard of The Cutting Edge. 
So Neither have I. I. Tanya by default. I, Tanya wins. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Staying on the ice. Blades of Glory versus Mighty Ducks. Uh, Mighty Ducks. Yeah. I honestly <laughs> did not like Blades of Glory that much. Blades of Glory is not a good movie. <laughs> All right. We're finally moving off the ice. Moneyball versus Field of Dreams. This is a tough one. For this me. is a powerhouse matchup right here. <laughs> like, honest to God, both of these teams could easily compete in this entire region. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, I'm, man. Uh, I kind of want to lean Moneyball, but you're going up against such a classic, too. Oh, God. Honestly, right, God, I'm I voted for Moneyball. Honestly, God, I have no idea. <laughs> um, Moneyball, fine, go. That that one hurt. You said Moneyball. Yep, Moneyball. All right, you do it with your eyes closed. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Next up, staying on the diamond, Natural versus Sandlot. Oh man, this is another tough one. The Natural versus the Sandlot. Um, two very different movies. Uh, one mm. is much more dramatic. Uh, one is much more of a kids movie. More nos- it goes from hits the feels, hits the nostalgia factor a little bit better. Have you ever mm-hmm. seen the Natural? No. Highly recommend watching it. Excellent, excellent movie. Excellent mm-hmm. movie. Highly recommend it. Yep. That's with Kevin Costner, right? Yes. However, I'm gonna take the surprise Cinderella here. I'm gonna go with the Sandlot just because if I had to pick a list of baseball movies mm-hmm. that I feel every person should watch. Mind you, The Natural is on this list. Sandlot is a little bit higher on this list for me. I'm going to go with The Sandlot. Sandlot it is. All right. League of Their Own versus Bad News Bears. I think I got to go League of Their Own here. Now, the Bad News Bears that they're referring to is the old one, not the Billy Bob Thornton version. So it is the better version. Okay. I'm still going with League of Their Own. Um, Yep. There's no crying in baseball. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Into the ring. Million Dollar Baby versus Rocky. I think this is easy. Rocky. All yeah. day. All day. And no then the next question. one's easy as well. Uh, Raging yes. Bull versus the Fighter. Raging Bull. No question. Yeah. And I knew they were going to do this to us, make us pick Rocky versus Raging Bull. All right. On the oh, other no. side here. Cinderella Man versus Creed. Staying in the ring. Um, I'm going to go Creed here. Uh, oh. I think I'll agree with you. Yeah, I'll go Creed. Both great movies. No slight to Cinderella, man. No, but. no. I just think Creed's a little bit better. Now we've got uh, Remember the Titans and Rudy. I go Remember the Titans. Remember here. the Titans. Yes, absolutely. I love the movie, Rudy, but the story, the actual true story of what it's based off of has taken so much f- yeah. like of the what's good about the movie, Rudy, away from it. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Move on. Let's do Blindside versus Varsity Blues. I'm going to go Blindside here. Really? I was going to go Varsity Blues. Are you? This is the first one we disagree on. What do we do when we disagree? <laughs> I'll concede because I don't feel that strongly about it. Varsity Blues All right. moves on. <laughs> uh, Jerry Maguire versus Longest Yard. Jerry ah, Maguire. That's a tough one. Jerry Maguire. You taking Jerry Maguire? Yep. yep. I have a soft spot in my heart for, for both Longest Yard films, to be honest with you. I mean, they're but good. I, yeah. The, I'll, same, I'll, the, I'll, the new Longest Yard movie is not very good. It's funny. It's mm-hmm. entertaining, but I don't think it's that mm-hmm. great. Um, I'm going to go Jerry Maguire. Oh, I don't like this next one. <laughs> Space Jam versus Coach, Coach Carter. Carter. Yeah, that one hurts. I like both these movies for completely different reasons. I know. This one hurts. I saw this when, when we were when I was doing a little bit of prep before I saw this, and I was like, oh, God. I don't I don't know how I can pick this one. <laughs> oh, gee. Um, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn yeah, it, this damn one hurts. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Was, by the way, was Space Jam on our basketball movies list we did last week? Yes. I can't remember. It okay. was lower down on the list, yeah. but yes. Yeah. I'm going to go Coach got... Carter just based off that. Yeah. Yep. I got to defer to what we said last week. Yep. Air Bud and Semi Pro. Um, I'm going to go Semi Pro. I think Air Bud's mm. gimmicky as hell. I don't like either of these movies very much, so I'll defer to you on some of bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to another field here. We've got She's the Man and Bend It Like uh, Beckham. Haven't seen either of them. Uh, she's so. the Man. She's the Man, it is? Yep. Is that one of the Man of Binds? Yes. Okay. That's the one Happy where, she, Gilmore that's versus the one where she like lifts her shirt up, and it's like one of the most pause moments in movies, even though it shows nothing. <laughs> Um, Happy Gilmore vs. Caddyshack. As much as I love Happy Gilmore, I gotta leave. Caddyshack's Caddyshack a better here. movie. Yeah, it's it's not really even that close. I love Happy Gilmore, but Caddyshack is straight up a really good movie. All right, so all right, 
what on are, round two. Yep. We've got Miracle and I, Tanya. It's Miracle. Miracle. No question. Mm-hmm. Uh, Muddy Ducks versus Moneyball. 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 In fact, either both Moneyball and Field of Dreams would have won that one. Yep, I agree. Sandlot versus League of Their Own. League of Their Own. I agree. The second round's easy. <laughs> it's, I hate this one, though. I know my answer. Rocky versus Raging Bull. Raging I gotta go Bull. Raging Bull. Raging Bull. It's, it's really Raging not even that close for me. Yeah. All right. Creed versus Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. I think I agree with you there. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans is an iconic film. It is. It's one of those that, like, it's one of those you grew up watching, and you, it, like, it. It's a movie that served as motivation for you while you it played. Sticks with you. <laughs> like, in fact, I, I took a class in high school. I want to say it was a drama class where we had to do, like, a. Uh, I can't even remember the term, but we had to basically say a speech. It's that a was, drama. We were in the same class. Yes, you had to basically do like. <laughs> uh, uh, a soliloquy of sorts, yeah. essentially. Yeah, you do a monologue. You do a yeah, monologue. monologue. That's the word I'm looking mm-hmm. for. Monologue. Yeah. And my monologue was from Remember the Titans. Yeah, mine was uh, Hitch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wanted to do uh, the president's speech from Independence Day, but it wasn't long enough. Apparently, it had to be a certain length. Nice. Um, uh, all right. Moving on. Varsity Blues versus Jerry Maguire. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go Jerry Maguire here. I think I'll agree with you. I do think I'll agree with you on Jerry Maguire. Yeah. Now this one's not very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Carter or semi pro. Yeah, I'm gonna go Coach Carter. Refer back to our list from last week. <laughs> yeah. Um then we got Coach She's Carter. the Man and Caddyshack, and Caddyshack destroys She's the Man. So, easy. That easy. may be the most lopsided picture on this list. <laughs> Might just be. <laughs> All right. All right, now we're, we're on into the round three. Round the yeah, the heavy stuff. This is where it gets tough. All right, so Moneyball versus Miracle. I'm assuming this is the one seed versus the two seed. Yeah, it um, might be. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, God damn it. I think I'm going to have to lean Moneyball here. Oh, see, I'm kind of leaning Miracle. Ooh, such different movies. Let's move what? on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. We got a League of Their Own. Raging that one for now. All right. Yeah, shelf League of Their Own versus Raging Bull. Oh come on. <laughs> um, I am gonna go Raging Bull though. I, I as agree. much as I love League of Their Own, Raging Bull is gonna take this one. I'll agree. Uh, Coach Carter versus Caddyshack. Caddyshack. I'll agree with you. Next, we've oh. got Remember the Titans and Jerry Maguire. I go Remember mm-hmm. the Titans. Yeah. So now back to the tough one: Moneyball and Miracle. I do feel that whichever wins between Miracle and Moneyball does move on to uh, the championship. Over Raging Bull. No, because that would... Oh, wait, no, you're right. That would go against... Ra- okay, no, I was reading this bracket wrong. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was putting up against the Titans. Bud. I was putting up against the Titans. <laughs> ah, if it was the way the Titans, I- yes, I would agree with you. Because the way I'm tracking this, I'm tracking something Excel and I had to pull up a bracket template, but their bracket template is only 16 teams, so I had to copy and paste down, so it's a little confusing. But uh, I still... <laughs> okay. So it makes it look like uh, the uh, Final Four matchups are a little different than they need to be. Yeah. But I got it. I got it down now. All right. Um, See, mon- uh, so let's pro-con this. Okay. Moneyball is not your typical sports movie. It's not. And that's part of the thing I respect about it is it's one of those movies that's not afraid to go in the nitty gritty of the front office and really, uh, really trust the audience to understand how a GM would analyze a baseball team and the concepts in Moneyball. Even though when the movie came out by that time, weren't exactly the newest concepts, but it popularized the concepts of analytics in the front office. It so did. I think Moneyball actually had an impact on the sports world, not just for movies. Which is kind of why I leave Moneyball. But Miracle shows arguably the greatest athletic triumph in the history of our country. You're talking mm-hmm. David versus Goliath, a bunch yeah, it's of not, also not just no name college movie. hockey players or amateur hockey mm-hmm. players going up against the behemoth in the uh, the Soviet hockey team, the the mm-hmm. the team that just demolished everybody, including the yeah. USA team in, a, in an exhibition game earlier in the year. And for them to come back and pull the Cinderella upset in the in the uh, you know the semifinal game before going on and, and winning in the fi- in the finals and winning the gold medal, I mean, it, it is the greatest. It's a story of the greatest triumph and in, in, in athletic triumph in American history. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so, and it does touch a lot, but going off of the movie aspect alone, not just the story, not just the story about it. I will agree with you on Moneyball is mm-hmm. the acting's a little bit better. Um, mm-hmm. Brad Pitt and, uh, Jonah Hill play the hell out of that. Uh, I, it, it, it is different versus miracle is a little bit more of your mainstream style sports movie. Yeah. Um, so I'll agree with mm-hmm. you. Moneyball can take this one, but not by much. Not by much. Yeah, by by a hair. Um, and then Raging Bull versus. Uh, oh, we already did that one. A League of Their Own. Raging Bull won yeah. that one. So we're basically down. We're, we're on to the four. So it's Raging Bull versus Moneyball. I'm gonna go yeah. Raging Bull here. Uh, Moneyball is excellent, you. but Raging Bull is a powerhouse. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got Remember the Titans versus Caddyshack. Caddyshack, for me. Uh, 100%. Oh, great. Nobody, nobody beats Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, great. Um, Except maybe Bobby D, because I'm taking Raging Bull in the championship. I'm going to take Raging Bull in the championship okay. as well. Um, Caddyshack a, is, a, is a very sound competitor and probably win in any other year, but this year it's Raging yeah. Bull's year. So. Yeah, because me personally, Raging Bull is my all-time favorite sports movie. Uh, I'll probably agree with you, and, yeah. and it's probably the most well-made sports movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, you cut the shit out of it. <laughs> it defeats its, it's own like purpose. It's a piece of charcoal. <laughs> Bring it over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, All right. That was the uh, sports movie bracket. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of a fix with no March of Madness to uh, look forward to or to actually indulge in right now. So um, just out of curiosity, Andrew, and this is going yeah. completely off topic. Um, mm-hmm. But obviously, you know, because the casinos are shut down because and there's no sports and everything and and there's no fantasy sports obviously going on. So there's kind of an itch. You know, you've, you've got an itch. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got an itch to do some form of fantasy sports. So you want to home scratch that itch? Is what um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm going to ask you, how are you scratching that itch? I know you bet on FanDuel or DraftKings on the on the debate or something like that. I know they've been able yeah, that- to do that. That was the one thing I've done so far is I've found Democrat debate, the last Democrat debate on FanDuel. <laughs> but I saw the other day DraftKings is doing like um, Counter-Strike tournaments or something like this Ooh. where they're doing like fantasy Counter-Strike. And I think they I'd be betting blindly because I know nothing. Which would be, which would be <laughs> honestly probably better almost for some of these people. But it, uh-huh. if you're a, a sports fan and you don't know anything about, if you're just a sports gambling fan, I should say, and you know nothing about this, mm-hmm. are you betting on Counter-Strike and things like that just to scratch the itch? Because <laughs> I can guarantee uh-huh. you that there's people out there who are. If if there were things I could bet, like if I could do like, if, me, if on FanDuel, let's say, if they were doing... The well, even then, I was gonna say if they were if they were allowing us to bet on the two K tournament that's going on with the players, like I would say maybe I would explore that. But even then, I have no like knowledge going in of which player is better at two K. So I, again, I'd be betting very. So no, I don't know. Like See, I, now- I, 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 the reason I did the Democrat debates is it was all prop bet. So it's like how many times is Joe Biden gonna mention coronavirus? Like, and you get points for each time he gets mentioned, kind of thing. Like right. Now, at least with something it was more like, fun, you didn't need to have any prior knowledge going in. It's just a fun thing to bet on. I would <laughs> argue, I would argue that like betting on this two K tournament is more of a degenerate move than betting on Counter Strike because at least Counter Strike is something you can do <laughs> research on. Like you can go and see who's yeah. you know been the better player. Who's That's what I'm saying. That's why I wouldn't do it because I'm who blind his matchup against. Too. Like you, you well, you wouldn't be able to do that with two K because you have no idea. You'd have no That's idea how good these players be- are. That's what I'm saying. I'd be blind because I don't know how good the, the players are that are playing 2K. Like, I don't know how good the NBA players are. So I wouldn't, I'd have no prior knowledge going in. So again, it would not be something I'd bet on. But Right. But, but. It, it technically is something you could scratch the itch with. No? It, it is. It's something you can scratch <laughs> the itch with stupidly. Yeah. But, but I mean, good. <laughs> you could argue sports gambling as a whole is stupid. Yeah, true. But I'm glad it's legal. Yeah, I haven't gotten to partake just yet, unfortunately. In time. <laughs> yeah, just in time for everything to get shut down. <laughs> um, but do you have anything else to add? That uh, everything that was our slate for today. Um, we'll try to keep getting creative for next week and the coming weeks. But that's what we came up with for today, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, absolutely. Uh, th- obviously things are going to be tough to come up with topics, but we're going to bring it to you as best we can. Uh, we're going to be creative just like we were today. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Maybe we should like watch, maybe we should watch like some random movie and review it on the next pod. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll talk. We'll think of something and we'll go from there, but we'll yeah. see. Um, anyways though, guys, thank you for watching or listening. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Thank you for listening. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys next week. Uh, again, apologize for the, not as high level quality as normal, but it, you know, we'll get back to it um, once we get the uh, replacement parts in. So, but anyways, hope it wasn't too bad for you. Uh, but thank you guys again for listening and uh, supporting us. Follow us on Twitter at Real Fan Report, and we will catch you guys next week. Thank you guys again. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay in your house. Peace.